Uh, but this is the bride's guide to survival. Emotional survival. Emotional survival. Okay, and of course, uh, that's what this is all about. Uh, the trauma of planning a wedding. And uh, it's a great book, a great read. Uh, and we want to start you off with a question we always ask uh, opening our show. Tell us a little about yourself. How did you find yourself getting interested in this most important subject? Um, you know, People call me the marrying therapist. Uh, I help people to get married. People come to me, single people, divorced people, uh, people who've never been married, people who've been in relationships that just didn't go anywhere mm. for years. Mm -hmm. And they come to me because uh, I seem to have a knack for helping them get off the merry-go-round of you know, these going-nowhere relationships right. or these going-nowhere dating scenes. Mm -hmm. And um, sooner or later, the people who've been seeing me um, find the right person, Mr. Right, Ms. Right, and decide to get married. They get engaged. And after about 30 years of doing this kind of work, I've had many, many experiences of um, couples actually deciding to get engaged in my office. Mm -hmm. And then I watched as they entered Wedding World which was surprisingly a very stressful kind of experience. Uh, for a long time, I was sort of uh, 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 really taken aback that getting married was such a traumatic experience at times. Not always. There are people who have very smooth transitions into right, getting true. married. Uh, but a, a great number of people, I'd say the great majority of people that I worked with and that I've known, uh, um, had uh, surprises along the way of getting married. And, and my book, Bride's Guide to Emotional Survival, is not about catering halls or, you know, what kind of invitations or, or what kind of dress the bride would wear, but it's about the emotional side of weddings. Yeah, it's about the relationships. And, and certainly marriage is a very dramatic change in two people's lives. Uh, that alone, uh, you know, that decision is a real big one. Two independent people living their own life now deciding to marry and become one family. Now, you go into the fact they don't become one person. It's important to recognize that they still maintain, you say they're like three people in, the, in a marriage? Well, uh, uh, um, there are really two people in the marriage, okay. and one plus, plus one equals two, but then the marriage is like another entity okay. in the marriage. So that each person in the marriage is taking care of themselves sure. and of the marriage. And by doing that, uh, uh, there is a very good chance that the marriage ends up being very successful. Because after all, even though my book is about the wedding process, it's really about the marriage and not the wedding that I'm, that I'm really coaching people. And, and that's kind of what I do in my book, is I coach people on how to create healthy relationships along the road of making their wedding.